Okay. And we'll do a name to set up so it makes sure it sets everything properly. Okay. Are you going name set up? Yep. And the one you want is R image, Rimage, if you want to say. Rimage. Where is Rimage? There yeah, is Rimage. Yep. And so you load it. And then there'll also be a remember. Run. Remember to hit the move and then you hit the move. Got it. Okay. I hit move and do I update CCD also? So change the exposure time. Uh, you can do 10 seconds or 15 is fine. Um, and then you can update. It's being a little slow. It is just a touch. So and I'll then... just say science star alignment check. Uh, Julie, will you send us to the imaging pointing origin, please? The image pointing origin? Image pointing origin, yes, please. Okay, um, we're moving there. And okay, good you're... to go. Do I take an, uh, an exposure then? Yes. Um, so, Rimage is the setup for. R band imaging and then I R band imaging. I should let set up as well. No, there's one SL 1.0. Got you. You just go there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that automatically put in the deck and all of that? Yes, it does. Okay. So now we go to control one and check the position. Of the That's you the think I could see it? Yeah. And you think I could see a little bit of continuum before that spectrum went away? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If this looks good, we should do two ten minutes after this. And if that CCD good, readout complete. So just what I would do is I'd click on the center on the left column and then zoom in a little bit. Yeah. And we're expecting it to be near pixel seven three zero. Just gonna zoom in one more time if that's okay. Perfectly okay. Seven three. 30, 730, and 1813. It says 707. Huh. I moved quite a bit. 1802. Hmm. That's what I'm worried about. Am I measuring the right thing? I believe you are. Change by 20 pixels in X and Y. Yeah. Uh, X a change, a Y change by sec. I can zoom in some more. I believe this is the object in question. I'm a bit worried about how much it's changed. So we could undo the offset and see your, make sure, sure. see where the pointing story is. Let's do that. Julie, can you return to base, please? You think this is the thing I was worried about for 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. Okay, back to base. Thank you. Raj, I'd recommend a one second exposure. Okay. You have to update the CCD. Let's see what this looks like. This should have a bright star now in this location wait, where my cursor is. <laughs> Stefan, did you have a question? Exposure complete. I see your hand raised. Oh, Chaski, you have your hand raised. Please tell us what's on your mind. Um. CCD readout complete. In the past, if right now, because you said that we're looking at from three billion years ago, well, three billion light years. Uh, just a moment, Jessica, we'll come back to you. Just a moment. Um, Jim, I'm still seeing an offset, but now only an X, not in Y. Let's uh, let's center it up. The x direction is roughly aligned with elevation. 
So there may be a, maybe there's a. So it says seven one three for the X and yes. it should be seven three zero. And the Y is dead on so eighteen thirteen. So why uh, let's have, let's send it back to seven three zero. Okay. Just want to double check. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, it's close enough. So the X axis coordinate is 713. So I should do a move 713, 1813, 730, 1813. Am I doing the right hang thing? Hang on. Hang on. You type 739. You're right. That looks correct. Oh. Jump to the other screen. Oh, I'll put you. I'll put you back. I think I killed my VNC. No, and just put it to the other screen. One of my VNCs disappeared. I think my control two disappeared somehow. Oh, that's okay. We don't have any screens on it. Okay, we take another exposure then. Yes, let's do that. Okay, it should read out soon. And Chaskia, I haven't forgotten. I'll come Exposure back to your question. Complete. I expect the star to move to the right. Ah, look, it changed in Y as well. Moved up a little bit. I don't understand why it's doing that. CCD readout complete. See, now it's not the right position. X is correct. Even X is not correct. Do I do another MOV? Yeah, that must not be perfectly aligned, the axes. Let's try another one. So 720. Take another exposure. Yeah, we're not. <clears throat> these offsets aren't being very trustworthy, so yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I've started an exposure. Uh, I don't see it taking. There it goes. I put my cursor where I think the star should end up. Exposure complete. <clears throat> the star should end up there. That looks pretty good. DCD readout complete. It's not, you know, first of all, it looks elongated. I'm not sure what's going on. Well, it could have just been the one second. This is close. I mean, it's within a couple of pixels. Yeah. So do you want to do the offset to the... Yeah, let's just do the offset and take a spectrum. What do you think we should do here, Jim? I'm, I'm a little worried about these offsets we're seeing. Let's do another one and see what the next one shows, I would say. Um, Julie, will you please uh, mark this as base and then uh, reapply the offset? Okay, base is marked and offsetting.
basically there's no right. guiding going on right now, right? Good yeah. to go. Thank you. Should I take a 15 second exposure here? Yeah, 10 or 15. Now we should see that 20th magnitude star or 19 point something magnitude star, we should see that. So when this box goes gray, it means it's flushing the detector. Now it's, when it goes green, it's collecting light. And then I think it changes color again when it's reading out the detector, which we should see in three, two, one. Exposure complete. Turns into that bright orange or yellow. And this arrow tells you what direction it's reading out the chip. Okay, we should see the exposure complete here. Yeah, it looks like your object's DCB there. DCB readout there. complete. That's pretty good, it's pretty well centered. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's pretty good. 